Absolutely. Um, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> obviously there's been um, you know some distractions the last week or so, but that that has nothing to do with the players when it comes to they're on ice. They have a job to do. We as coaches have a job to do. Um, it's a new month. You know, it's a new day, uh, and we have to be ready to play. There's no excuses. Any update on Artem Zub? Uh, Zub had a day off today. Um, you know, unable to play. Um, and, you know, he's been pushing, pushing, pushing. So we think a day off might help. Um, we'll reevaluate at the next, next practice. Yeah, Brian, was the one who gave you your first chance to be a head coach. Um, comments on what transpired yesterday? Yeah, obviously I'm th very thankful for him um, for giving me my, my opportunity um, to come here uh, and, and, you know, worked with him every day. Um, but, you know, as in, as in sports, you know, it's unfortunate. And it's unfortunate for the families, his family, and, and everything involved. But um, you know, the, this is part of the business, and it's the hard part of the business. Um, you know, and and we have no choice but to to move on and look to a fresh start with uh, with Michael and Steve. Um, you know, our <clears throat> our coaching staff has a, a you know a, a fresh start here, November first. Um, you know, to to start to make some ground and, and get winning some hockey games. Um, you know, and, and for us. You know th that's got to be the focus: is make these players better. You know, win hockey games, um, and, and again, you know that's a par that's a tough part of the business, but it's part of it. And if you're in this, if you're in this business, you're used to it. What was the sort of message to you guys? <clears throat> message, um, <clears throat> sorry. The, the message is is that he believes in the coaching staff and that we can get the best out of these guys. Um, I think if you if I just reflect uh, on the games. Um, we've had some very good moments. We've had some low moments. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's some guys that we still got to get playing better. Um, you know, it's early in the year. It's, it's eight games in. And um, we have a job to do. And our job um, is to win hockey games. And, uh, you know, he's given us that confidence. Now we got to go do the job. This team is, uh, <coughs> you say the goal has not changed. Still, you want to make the playoffs, you want to win. This team is 32nd in the league for NHL experience in games played. And at center, you have five players that have less than 500 games played. Is this, is this something that in the near future you're going to need to address? Or this new <coughs> management is going to have to address in order to help you and the coaching staff to be in the playoffs? Because it seems that you're very young and not <coughs> unexperienced to be an NHL team that makes the playoffs. Well, uh, I didn't know that stat, but I think that's more of a question for, for Steve, um, you know, as to what, what they want to do, you know, with players going forward. I think we have enough talent, and, yeah, we might not be as experienced, but it's still no excuse for us as a coaching staff to not try and get the absolute best out of them. And, and we all know what the goal is, but as a coaching staff, you know, whether you have older players, younger players, you got to get the best out of them. And for me and, and our staff, regardless of their age, at this point, we're trying to do everything we can to, to win and do everything we can to, to be able to be one of those teams that gets a chance to move on. You have a, a pretty good read on your players in terms of their, their heads being in the right space and not caught up in all that's going on here the past week. Yeah, I mean, it's easy for me to say, and they look good and they look sharp, but the one thing I think you can always go back to is is – focus on yourself you know look in the mirror and, and and be the best yourself for that 60 minutes and then you know whatever the the side noise is you know you got to deal with that um but <clears throat> the best teams just cut the noise out and we've got to cut the noise out and and you know sometimes it's difficult in Canada obviously the fans are so passionate and, and the people are so passionate um but as a team you can only control what you can control and as a coach it's the exact same thing so my message is go out there and do your job Toronto has played a maybe an ordinary game against LA, but LA played a real solid defensive game. They haven't lost on the road. What's your plan to get in that neutral zone? They seem to play a one-three-one, very you know, very good and, and solid defensively. How do you plan to go through that? Tonight? Well, we're going to have to be very competitive when it comes to loose pucks and getting on the inside. They don't let that happen very often. Um, we're going to have to have the puck in the ozone. If we can have the puck in the ozone, then they have to change a lot more. And we can quick up, and we don't deal with their their one three one as much. But if you're one and done, and you can't get to the inside, you're going to deal with their one three one a lot. 
and, and that seems to be a real issue for teams at this point. Now, in saying that, when you talk about our, our team, you know, our neutral zone, I think in neutral zone turnovers, we're second in the league right now. We're out creating turnovers. We got to be real good in the neutral zone, you know, when they have the puck. So on the flip side, you know, whose neutral zone is going to be better tonight? Who's going to hold who to what? I thought in, in, in Pittsburgh, that was the reason we probably won the game is, you know, in the D zone, we were in tight. But, you know, in the neutral zone, we were above. We stole a lot of pucks. Um, and we ended up with a lot of odd mans off of that. So for me, yes, we're going to concentrate on a little bit of their neutral zone. But more importantly is let's let's put our neutral zone uh, in place so that we can take pucks from them. Yeah, Kapitar, Dano, uh, Jubal at center. How do you feel your, your team matches up at center against the Kings? Well, that's that's a really good center ice, and that would you would say that's their strength on top of their top 4D. Um, you know, Kopitar, and I talked about it, you know, he's won two Stanley Cups. Um, he knows how to play the right way. Dubois is a young star, and Dano is as good a defensive center with an offensive touch as there is in the National Hockey League. So, yeah, that's three good centers. Timmy's a really good player. Um, Timmy can play against anybody in the world. Josh Norris, you know, has been off a year. He can play with anybody. He, he can defend and he can check. And Ridley Gregg is as competitive as there is of a player. Yeah, they're young, but this is a really good test for our guys to go against three top-end centers. And then Sharche for me, might be the best defensive center of the group <clears throat> when it comes to just pure defending. You know, so at the end of the day, we, we've got good players too, and this is going to be a real good test. We saw Artem Zub playing alongside Jake Sanderson for a lot of this week. With him out of the lineup, how do you see your defensive game <clears throat> shaking out? Well, we we'll probably put Hammer back there. Um, you know, he played, uh, you know, in Pittsburgh with him. In saying that, Jake's going to play a lot of minutes, so he's going to play, you know, some shifts with, with Chick. He's going to play some shifts, um, you know, with Clev. So I don't know how hard the matching will be with – they have three good lines and, and how much we're going to roll six the entire night. I think Jake and Chickie are going to play, you know, probably more minutes than some other guys. So the, the, the pairs, you know, will start one way, but may look a different way throughout the game. So you're still like, dealing with headaches or what kind of the symptoms? Yeah, he's just, he just doesn't feel 100%. And, and he pushed hard in practice. We had three practices. He was at every one. And, and uh, it just not at the point where he's able um, – to, to play in a game, and we certainly would never put him in that position. So we give him a day off today. He'll go again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I'll just um, no, I'll say it right, right away. It's um, no lose periods. No, for me, I just you know appreciate and thankful, and I know a lot of guys in this locker room as well. It's um, you know for us, he, he drafted us, he believed in us right from the start, right from day one, and then um, no signed us. And, and um, no, for me, I'm thankful and I'm very appreciative of, of what he's done for me and my family. And, and um, you know, I think on behalf of the team, we want to wish him all the best the next adventure. And, and um, yeah, we wouldn't be in our position if it wasn't for him. So um, we're very thankful for what he's done. How does something like this affect the mood in the locker room over the past 12 hours? Yeah, it's obviously, you know, I hate to see somebody you know, lose a job. It's, um, of course, for you know, all things that he's done for us. And, um, of course, we wish him all the best. I um, was able to talk to him yesterday, and, and I just want to wish him all the best. And, and uh, um, but yeah, I think now it's, um, you know, it's to, you know, to look forward and, and to look forward on, on a big month for us and, and uh, a big game for us tonight. That, um, of course, is uh, with the record now. We want to just keep improving and, and keep uh, um, keep getting better day in and day out. So I think our focus has got to go into you know all in on hockey right now and, and just um, focus on moving forward. Did Steve address the group? And yeah. Um, no, it was, yeah, it was a meeting yesterday um, after practice and, and uh, yeah, just uh, about moving forward and, and um, just for him, he instilled a lot of confidence and belief in, in our group here and, and um, what we've built here and uh, how we're going to be moving forward. So it's, um, it was nice to hear you know, the confidence and, and the trust that we, we have as a group and, and uh, what we can accomplish in the future. This being a distraction and just moving forward to focus on the Kings tonight? Uh, I think it's just like that. It, it's, you know, sticking together and, and uh, having that focus, you know, together on, on a, a team that's been playing really, really solid. They're undefeated uh, on the road. So, um, you know, we got a you know, tough task. That's a team that's you know, implemented themselves as, as a, you know, a great team in this league. So we have to be ready for a you know, big challenge and, and, um, just focus on our game. I, I've always believed that once we, you know, play our game, we're a tough team to handle, and, and uh, uh, when we're playing fast, it's um, like I said, we're a tough team to contain.